All right, welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I'm here to talk about Pierre Rodriguez versus Sam Hughes. This is going to be a good fight. Second fight of the night, I believe. And uh, I think it's going to be a close one. You know, Pierre Rodriguez is a girl who's 1-0 in the UFC. Beat Kay Hansen, who was no, uh, kicked out of the UFC and after that loss. And I said that like she was kicked out for doing drugs or something. She was cut from the UFC. Pierre has looked really good. She's only fought a few legitimate girls. You know, she's 8 or 9-0 and altogether, but only a few of them are legitimate. The Contender Series girl she fought, uh, Machado, uh, Kay Hansen, of course, this girl Svetlana in the European scene, and maybe one girl earlier on in her career. But everybody else has dog shit records, and uh, they seem to fizzle out pretty quickly. Uh, Pierre Rodriguez has really good power you know she's got good striking but good power she sits down on her punches she's one of those stalking fighters if you uh, watch her fight on the contender series she's got that michael myers trait where she's just stalking i say michael myers i should probably say john lineker i think that's how i referred to her in the k hansen video she's she reminds me of like a john lineker where she knows she's got the power advantage and that's how she fights the thing is of course as is the case with most powerful strikers, they're sacrificing movement and speed. And Sam Hughes will have movement and speed, not to mention a little bit of reach and height, of course. So uh, she could make that work for her on the feet. But I don't think she can make it work for her even enough to win one round. You know, it's just Sam Hughes is looking to go forward. She's a wrestler. But on the feet, you know, she could play it safe is my point and, you know, use her movement to keep herself safe. Because Piera, if she's, uh, you know, if you're throwing down with her, even if you land more than she lands, it's going to look like she's winning because she clearly hits harder. And she does. The thing with uh, both these girls is they're wrestlers and they're looking to get the fight to the ground and be on top. And that's going to determine who wins this fight. Now, Sam Hughes... Uh, both girls really have seemed to excel late in fights. Sam Hughes had those two fights that she won where her wrestling just got stronger and stronger and her ability to get on top, scrambling and everything, just got stronger and stronger as her opponents were fading where she took over that fight against Estella Nunes and that that was just such a great performance because, uh, again, it looked like she was on her way to losing and she turned it around and just didn't stop fighting. And the same goes for Elise Reed. You know, uh, that, that fight, she got the finish late uh, in round three, which was awesome. And uh, she did change training camp. I forget who she was with, but now she's with, I think, Fortis MMA, and she's 2-0. and So, you know, that could be it, because she's a girl who, you know, you hear her talk, and she knew she had potential, and she did have potential, but she just ran into some tough matchmaking, you know. Uh, Fighting Tisha Torres in your debut is pretty goddamn tough, you know, when you could be fighting someone like Kay Hansen. So, uh, Sam Hughes was definitely, uh, you know, given a shitty uh, hand, as they say, in that regard. But still, she hung around because I think the UFC realized they gave her a shitty hand. Even her losses to Luana Pinedo and Loma Luke Bunme, those are two, two tough, good fighters. And it seemed like she never really caught a break until she was fighting Nunes and Reed. And now Pierre Rodriguez, uh, you know, it's not to say she's on that level. She's, you know, a newcomer or whatever. She's undefeated, and she looks really good. And uh, like I said, she's slow and plodding, but that doesn't mean she's not winning every fight striking-wise and grappling-wise, because she is. She's not that slow, and she's a good counter-striker. She's moving forward, but she's a counter-striker, you know. She never really leads the dance, but she's usually trying to time her opponent's faster strikes so she can start countering and have the fight degenerate into a brawl or a test of power. And on the cage, I think uh, Pierre will be stronger. I think uh, 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 Sam Hughes will find takedowns better from the outside and, you know, your straight-up conventional double, uh, you know, in, in the middle of the octagon. But I think Pierre Rodriguez, if they're locked up, will have a strength advantage. She'll be giving up leverage and whatever in the clinch because she's two inches shorter, but she's stronger. And that's where I see her doing her best work and winning the wrestling battle. But overall, my prediction, I'm going with Sam Hughes, you know. 
Both girls have shown good gas tanks, uh, winning round three. You know, even Pierre Rodriguez, her contender series fight, I thought her wrestling was starting to fade, and it didn't go anywhere in round three. She g gathered herself and hit two nice takedowns, I think. But Sam Hughes, it's just, it's a momentum swing, you know. Uh, she looks like she's really putting it all together. I like what I've seen from her in her two victories, and I know for sure at the UFC level she can carry a hard three-round pace. So, again, it's going to come down to the battle of the wrestling. I'll take the girl that I perceive to be bigger, even though I don't perceive her to be stronger, and the girl I perceive to be faster as well. Sam Hughes via decision, that's my prediction. I did bet on it. I bet on Sam Hughes the money line because that can be attached in parlays for me. At plus 150. But the decision line is out now. And it's plus 225. So I will be betting on Sam Hughes via decision. I'm not going to bet my life on it. Because I do see the upside with Pierre Rodriguez. But I'm picking against her. I'm betting against her. Sam Hughes. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe. All that horseshit.